As you can tell from the title, or from the thumbnail, I have a huge announcement. I am pretty sure that I'm going back to Canada. The main reason is I don't see myself getting better here. Unfortunately. So I feel like it's necessary. Um I also just miss my family a lot. I slept like, I only fell asleep at 8.30 in the morning. And I woke up at 10 this evening. And I have people in my family who want to be a support system and help me with my, help me with appointments and coming with me to try to get some mental health help. So I have people in my life that really, um, you know, as a support team with the, the mental health thing. Honestly, mental health care here is so expensive. Well, that's the plan. Anyway. So, guys, um, my health is just bad. And my leg is not doing much better. I need access to, like, certain things. <laughs> Maybe, like, an MRI or something. Which is also very expensive here. Yes, even if you're an expat, imaging is more expensive. So, I always, you know, have this vision of me cut, like, kicking my health issues in the butt. And then I think I'm really finally realizing, like, I can't, can't do that from here. I just don't feel strong enough, like, without a proper support system. And yeah, my husband is supportive, but also a more supportive healthcare system. And it's not perfect, but I also have my family, you know. Anyway, I'll obviously let you guys know more, but I'm not, <clears throat> excuse me, going to say when I'm leaving, obviously. But... Just wanted to let you know that's in the future so yeah anyway um i guess that's it for now i don't have anything else really else to say um yeah that's all i have information i have for now <laughs> so thank you for watching and uh, good night i'm going back to bed bye the next morning a lot of you are not going to understand what i'm about to say or where I'm coming from. And I know people think I'm trolling and I'm doing this for views, but, so I'm gonna try to explain the best I can to make you kind of understand. And some of you just won't. How I feel right now and how I've been feeling is like I'm in a tug of war, okay? So like, Canada, Kuwait, West, East, East, West, West, East, East, West. And it's actually very 
confusing for me because I come from Canada, right? But when I'm in Canada, I miss my family here. And when I'm here, I obviously miss my family there. So I get moments where I just want to go back to being a mess because changing is a lot harder. I want to go back to just sitting on a reclining couch and being buzzed out of my mind and just Mario beezing. But then I really think about it because you know I'm impulsive. And I think, do I really want that? And how can I leave my family here? Like, how can I leave my family? I mean, my husband. I never said the healthcare was cheaper here. At least I don't remember saying that, which doesn't make sense because the healthcare in Canada is covered, you know, completely. It's almost impossible to get a family physician. It's universal, right? So there's going to be long wait times. No system is perfect. Um, so yeah. I made a joke. I was sarcastic because people, haters or reaction channels are always saying he has more than one wife. Um, he lives in another apartment. But then, like, how can we afford all these apartments and wives? Because you have to provide for your wives. You can't just, like, legally, you can't just marry another wife if you're a broke ass, you know? So, <laughs> <coughs> like, you guys really, really know nothing. You speculate, but you're so wrong on a lot of things. But yeah, they'll say, like, um, he has another wife, blah, blah, blah. And whatever, I mean, I'm going to take it with a grain of salt because rumors are rumors. But just know, there's no truth to them. And I was being sarcastic and like, yes, like playing into that, you know, whatever delusion they have. But um, <laughs> there's really nothing, nothing there. Big fat, nothing burger as usual, you know. I, I hear a lot of people come to me and say that, that, oh, this reaction channel has so many uh, dumb conspiracy theories, and whenever they're proven to be not true um, or inconsistent with with the truth, people just breeze by it and go for the next conspiracy theory, you know? But yet, people latch on to every little single thing I say, and it's so weird. I don't know. It's like odd behavior. And people are just not like that here. People are just not weird like that. They don't have that mentality. Like, maybe some people, but I've never encountered anyone like that here. And, uh, yeah. And I'm not saying all people are like that in the West, obviously. But all of the weirdo people who are obsessed with me, and it's like, they ha I don't know. I don't know the mentality of people who follow people like that whatsoever. <laughs> so anyways, um, I guess that's all I have to say. Um, you know, so, so I mean, Salah's insisting I don't have to worry about, you know, the monetary side of the healthcare. So I'll just trust trust in him on that and uh, I guess that takes away a big stress and um, I mean I like the healthcare I've utilized so far hasn't been pricey but the point is in Canada everything is just free like because it's covered right but there's long wait times there's always a, a pro and a con to everything so the cost of living is just also lower. I keep forgetting that, you know? Like, just looking at, like, one-bedroom apartments when I was thinking of going back for a while. Because I like to have my ultimate privacy. I could stay with my mom as long as I want, but, like, I like to have privacy, you know? And just bed rot in peace. <laughs> that's, <clears throat> that's what I feel like my life would be like if I go back. Just bed rotting even more, you know? 
because being totally alone, I'm a little afraid of that. I'm a little afraid of how deep of a hole I'll dig myself into. I'll just be alone with all of my addictions, nothing else. Anyway, there won't be anyone to tell me no at all for anything. I can just see myself Uber Eats. I mean, I'm ordering out now here too, but I don't know. It's like way more affordable. <laughs> and I usually just do it like I could see myself ordering like a whole bunch of junk food all the time, you know, instead of just for dinner. I don't know. I feel like I would slip further and further away from my faith in Islam because I don't know I just feel like I would tr like go back to a lot of old habits I don't want to and I've come all this way you know even if a lot of you don't see any changes that's fine um, I don't need you to so that's about it. I'm still super tired. I don't know, like, so I understand you don't really understand the vibe. You don't understand what I'm going through. And you're thinking, why wouldn't you choose Canada, you know? Um, but the Middle East, like, people, I read some of the comments and you, like, people are not stoned here. Like, it's actually pretty free. It's like, you know, women can do whatever. And, um, I just, I guess I was just missing my family back in Canada. And also some things about my old lifestyle that were comfortable. But yeah, there's no growth in that, in that lifestyle at all. It's more entertaining for a lot of people, but for me, it's not healthy. I don't know. I was on a downward spiral. And I have a lot of bad memories and stuff like that. So I just, I feel like this is more home now, if I can explain it more. Like I, I do. Because culturally and religiously, I've just experienced so much here that it just feels weird going back there. I don't know. But I will visit my family and stuff. So at least once a year, <laughs> I'll try to. So I guess that's it. Enough rambling. I don't think, I think I confuse people even more with this video. But that's the best I can explain it. That's the best I can do. Alright guys. Um, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Go. I'm done!